Harvey right there uh, behind you. This morning, during our newscast this morning, it was a 45 mile per hour tropical storm. It has been intensifying rapidly. It became a hurricane by late morning and is still intensifying. In fact, we're beginning to see an eye right now on Hurricane Harvey. And get this, let's check out the latest model track from the National Hurricane Center. Harvey, currently with 85 mile per hour winds, gusting to 105, is now moving at 10 miles per hour. That's going to make landfall possibly tomorrow night now on Texas, a guaranteed Texas landfall of this storm. It's category two by late tonight, early in the morning, and then it approaches Corpus Christi tomorrow afternoon. It looks like landfall near Corpus Christi. Of course, it could be anywhere in this cone, remember, but it looks like landfall near Corpus Christi, maybe north toward Rock Part, Rockport, as the first major hurricane to hit Texas since the late 1990s. And then look at that. Saturday afternoon, 1 p.m., the cone still has, beyond that into the afternoon, a Category 3 up here around the Victoria area. Beyond that, it moves up a little closer even to Austin. We're going to be talking more about those potential impacts in just a moment. Parts of our area have been placed under tropical storm watch life-threatening flash flooding is going to be a possibility here could it be maybe a little to the southeast of us we'll talk about that and these astronomical rainfall projections now that are coming in from some of our models you think what i showed you yesterday was unbelievable they are off the chart today well, our in-house hurricane expert, meteorologist David Yeomans, has just made it to the Texas coast. He joins us live from Rockport. David, uh, what are you seeing down there so far? You know, Jim, honestly, it's a beautiful summer day down here in Rockport, and you wouldn't know it by looking around me with the sunshine, a couple people who just got out of the water, and just a 15-mile-an-hour breeze, that we right here are actually under a mandatory evacuation. Even though it looks like a beautiful day, the mood around here is very serious. We stopped, Jim, at a gas station on the way in, which, by the way, had a line several cars long. I popped inside, spoke to the man, and he said he spent the afternoon boarding up his home, his friend's home, and anybody with a head on their shoulders should get out. Out right now. Let me take you offshore right here. We're here in the bay. We tried to get out toward Port Aransas, the barrier islands, just to show you some big waves, but the ferries are on a massive delay because everybody is getting off those islands. A couple hundred miles offshore there where you're looking, Hurricane Harvey is rapidly intensifying, and this actually happens kind of frequently. All that rising air inside of the hurricane, which you can't see over the horizon, it has to sink, and it sinks here on the periphery of the storm, which is why it's so sunny and beautiful. It's like our own little mini fair weather system. Now, this can lull people into complacency. What else can is coastal development and how long it's been since hurricanes have hit. Check out these uh, fine homes, the condos, the bars and restaurants. Uh, it's nice to get lulled into complacency on a day like this, but also, you know, the more time that goes by without a hurricane or major hurricane strike, the more people live here. There's actually a statistic we found. Every 15 years that goes by, the same exact hurricane landfall is going to cause twice the damage just because of development. Officials are using very stern wording here for the residents and the tourists alike. They said if you have not completed your preparations already, you need to get them done today. They say the longer you wait to evacuate yourself and your family, the more you are putting your lives and the lives around you at risk. It's hard to believe that in just 36, 24 hours or even less than that, we've seen statistics that show that the water is going to be three feet over my head right here where we stand. And the sea that we're looking at right here is going to travel as many as eight miles inland on parts of the Texas coast, Jim. David, I know what happened today is exactly what you did your master's research on down at uh, the University of Miami, this rapid intensification of a tropical storm into a hurricane, possibly then a major hurricane. Can you explain to the audience briefly how that happens? Yeah, Jim, there are several things that we look for. As you know, warm water. This is like a bath out here, 88 degree water offshore. That's jet fuel for a hurricane. The other thing we look at is the winds up where airplanes fly. They are not trying to rip Harvey apart. They're actually completely calm, which allows for the storm to generate its own peaceful little atmosphere. Now, the thing that I studied in depth, which we've actually been watching with Harvey for a couple of days now and certainly had a hand in the rapid intensification today, it is the level of humidity about 10,000 feet above our heads when there's a big concentration of a lot of moisture, very high humidity there, it can be a dictating factor, literally, on causing rapid intensification like we've seen today. David, I remember Brett hit south of where you are in 99, but left Corpus uh, really alone. They're not ready for this in Corpus Christi. It's been decades. Uh, they've been so lucky. 
They have, Jim. And, you know, we were looking at statistics just for the middle Texas coast here where we stand. It's been since 2003 when a hurricane hit. That was Claudette. So, what, 14 years right there. In terms of major hurricanes, Category 3, 4, 5, it has been 47 years since Celia in 1970. Just to put it in plain English, if people live here and they are not 47 years or older, they have not seen anything like what's coming tomorrow. Incredible. Thank you, David. We look forward to more of your reports. David Yeomans will be following the eye of the hurricane as it makes landfall tomorrow and then moves inland. As Hurricane Harvey heads towards central Texas, he will keep you updated right here on KXAN and on KXAN.com. Last time a major hurricane, a Category 3 or stronger, hit Texas was nearly two decades ago. As Jim mentioned, in 1999, Hurricane Brett, a Category 3, slammed into the Texas coast. It made landfall on Padre Island near Corpus. Four people killed as a result of that storm. Before that, in the last half century, Texas has seen six other major hurricanes. But in recorded history, Texas has never seen a Category 5 hurricane.